The Avengers vs. the Peter Factor by Midnight Wolf 2192 Chapter 19, Okagaye Part 2 Again, apologies if I mispronounced anything. When they arrived, Peter was sitting in the grass beside Bucky, both of them with goats in their laps. The princess was running around with another two goats chasing her, trying to steal the food she was holding. White Wolf, Okagaye said fondly as they approached. Bucky and Peter both turned and Peter smiled widely at the two women. Peter, this is Zia. She would be one of your instruction instructors. It is a pleasure to meet you, ma'am, Peter said prospectively, and Okagie watched as Zia fought back a smile. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. I want to keep this one, Zia said in her native tongue. And while Peter looked confused, Bucky, Okagie, and Shiri all laughed. Come along, princess, Peter. Training is about to begin, Okagie said. Shiri, we should probably do some refreshing off of your skills as well. Bye, Bucky, the two teens chanted. Peter patted the goats one final time before he and Sherry followed Zia and Okakiyo back to the palace. The other Dora Malaje were waiting their arrival and Peter felt a mixture of apprehension and excitement. Both of you, go change, Okakiyo ordered. The twins grabbed a pile of clothes Okakiyo laid out, Peter's included his web shooters but not his whole suit, and headed for the change rooms. When they had returned, eager as newborn lion cubs, Okakiyo addressed them. Princess, you will be continuing your training with Asha and Meshaki. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Peter, you will be training with Zia, Ayo, and myself. Peter watched as two other women assigned as his teachers and smiled at them with only a little amount of apprehension. Okakiyo tells us you have superpowers that you know where danger is, Ayo said, and Peter nodded. Powers can only do so much in battle. You must learn how to fight and move without them. Okay, should I take my web shooters off? I mean, I tend to rely on them for most of my quote-unquote fights, Peter commented, and Io and Zia looked at one another. When they nodded, Peter removed the web shooters and placed them to the side of the room. Now, show us what Natasha and the White Wolf have been teaching you, Zia ordered. Peter nodded into the defensive stance Natasha had shown him, and, uh, and Io moved it on the offence. Zia watched as Peter and Ayo traded blades, Ayo landing far more hits than Peter, taking notes of his stance and form. After 15 minutes, Peter was laying on the floor, panting heavily after being thrown down harshly again by Ayo. Well, there is some good news, Zia commented. Peter took Ayo's hand and took a sip of water from the bottle she handed him. You are not a total novice. You are graceful as well, which is beneficial. But there is still, you have much to learn. I'm ready. Peter said eagerly, and both Zia and Ayo nodded at his tone. For the next four hours, Zia and Ayo taught Peter the basics of Wakandan martial arts, as well as Wakandan spear fighting. At some point, T'Challa entered the room, followed by Tony, Pepper, Bucky, and Ramonda. They just they arrived just as Zia managed to throw Peter across the room with extreme force. Peter noticed the crowd that had gathered and waved fondly at them with a pained smile. Is this safe? Pepper asked softly as they moved to sit and watch the training. The Dora Milaje are some of the best warriors in the world, Ramonda said comfortingly. They are also the best trainers when it comes to fighting techniques. Both T'Challa and Sherry have been trained by the Dora. I wouldn't have trusted anyone else with their training. Pepper nodded hesitantly, but she looked across at the Peter, smiling Peter. Sure, the boy was probably hurting, but he appeared to be having the time of his life. He was listening intently to Ayo as she spoke on how to perform, improve the technique even allowing her to move and adjust his body to improve his stance. He'll be all right, Pep, Tony added, only slightly concerned for the teenager. Maybe I won't stress as much when he's out patrolling. That's a lie, Peter called out from where he was dodging Io's blows. You could be the Olympic stress champion. Quiet, child, Tony fired back and Peter laughed, before focusing his full attention on the fight. Tony could feel his heart in his throat as Peter and the warrior dodged around with each other. He made an aborted move to intervene when Okakiye threw both Peter and Ayu's spears, but managed to stay in his seat. He is a quick learner, Okakiye commented as she approached the group. She had noticed Tony's action and rolled her eyes. He picked up the basics of our martial arts quicker than any student I've had before. The group watched as I, Peter and Ayo fought with spears and Pepper let go a surprised gasp when Peter dodged a spear and spin, kicked Ayo in the chest using his spear to disarm her, then held the spearhead to her throat. 
After a moment of silence, Okakaye and T'Challa both started applauding. Peter was wide-eyed as he stared at his hands and then the smiling Ayo on the ground. Well done, Spider, Ayo said approvingly. Peter dropped the spear and helped the woman to stand. That was your first victory, but do not be complacent. That was so cool! Peter said excitedly before bounding over to Tony and Pepper. Did you see that, Mr. Stark? I did, kid. Peter, Tony said, both fond and proud. Bucky reached forward and pulled Peter into a teasing headlock. Good job. Can't wait to see how you pull that one on that, Bucky said, and P Peter quickly wiggled out of his grip. He turned to Okakie, who was staring at him. Well done, little spider, Okakie said, and Peter straightened his posture. Like Ayu said, do not become complacent. That is enough for today. Tomorrow, you and I will fight. Yes, ma'am, Peter said respectfully. Okakaye watched as he made the Wakanda Forever sign and bowed slightly to her. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you all. The Dora Malaje all respected, repeated the action to Peter, but Okakaye dismissed them. As they walked out of the changing room, they smiled or nodded fondly at the boy, Zia going so far as to ruffle the boy's sweaty hair. Okakaye nodded at T'Challa and Ramonda before following her warriors out of the room. As soon as breakfast was over the next morning, Peter was anxiously waiting in the training room. No one had to know that Okakaye was just as excited as the boy. She just hid it better. She smirked at the boy who was standing in the middle of the room waiting for her. Before we begin, Okakaye said seriously and Peter tilted his head in confusion. I must thank you, little spider. Thank me? Why? Peter asked in confusion. He should be thanking her. She was doing something for him that no one expected of her. She was going out of her way to train a teenager that she had only known for a few days in the fighting style of her culture. Princess Shuri has never really had a friend her own age, Okakaye explained. She has always been advanced, even by Wakandan standards. Since you have been here, she has been a different person. It brings us all joy to know that she has someone she can be herself with. So on behalf of all of the Dora Malaje, thank you. You are welcome. But it wasn't hard, Peter answered honestly. Shuri is the greatest. All right, enough, Okakaye said, grabbing her spear and tossing one to Peter. Let's dance, little spider. Unbeknownst to the two parties, Tony and T'Challa had arrived in the training room to watch a bit of Peter's session with Okakaye. They had overheard everything the warrior women had said, and I realised Peter could now have a far more powerful than he could ever imagine. He had a tribe of warrior women ready to defend him should he need it. This really was a losing cause. The Peter Factor 22? Avenger and co? Zero. 